Welcome back to our channel, Space Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of space technology where remarkable advancements are taking place. Whether you're a seasoned stargazer or just beginning your journey into the cosmos, this video will give you a comprehensive overview of the latest developments in space technology. So, let's get started. People have always been really interested in space. They used to think that the stars could tell them about their future, and now some people think we might have to leave Earth one day to survive. Lately, more and more money is going into exploring space, both from private companies and the government. Some people say this is a waste of money because we should be spending it on making life better on Earth instead of looking at space, which seems like a fun thing to do. But this argument is not very well informed. A lot of what we do in space exploration helps us right now, not just in the future. We're learning new things and creating new technologies that can make life better for us today. So exploring space isn't just about tomorrow, it's about today too. Space-based solutions to climate change. With many satellites in orbit, we get hundreds of pictures of Earth every day from different places. This information helps us learn a lot about how the world's climate is changing. Scientists believe we can use this data to better understand and fight climate change. In addition to that, space offers exciting possibilities for getting cleaner energy to use on Earth. Besides getting resources from asteroids and planets, there's a project called the Caltech Space Solar Project. They want to collect solar power from space in 2023 and either save it or send it back to Earth. If we can use solar energy from space here, it could give us a lot of clean energy and reduce our need for fossil fuels. Resource Mining in Space an innovative idea to reduce space debris and make satellites self-sustaining involves mining resources from asteroids and other celestial bodies. Instead of bringing satellites back to Earth, we could equip them to gather resources from space to support their operations and continue exploring. This concept is gaining attention for several reasons. Asteroids, for instance, contain valuable materials like iron, nickel, gold, and platinum, which are essential for building and electronics. Extracting these resources in space could save us the effort and cost of transporting them from Earth. The Moon holds a resource called Helium-3, which could be vital if nuclear fusion becomes a common energy source. Oxygen is also present on the Moon and other celestial bodies, though it can be challenging to extract. Ice, believed to exist on the Moon and Mars, can support life and provide hydrogen and oxygen for various uses. Some companies, such as Pulsar Fusion, are planning to test resource mining technologies in 2023. Many others are working on ways to mine these resources and find applications for them. This approach not only reduces the clutter of space debris, but also opens up exciting possibilities for future space exploration and resource utilization. An increased focus on orbital debris mitigation. AI is playing a crucial role in preventing collisions in space as the number of satellites and smaller spacecraft launched into orbit continues to rise. Thanks to AI, space traffic is managed effectively, ensuring the tracking and accountability of all space equipment. This has led to no reported collisions since 2009, a significant achievement. Collisions in space can have catastrophic consequences. For instance, the destruction of the Chinese Fengyun Minus-1 Coulomb spacecraft in 2007 and the 2009 incident involving American and Russian spacecraft increased orbital debris by 70%, posing multiple risks. This space debris not only clutters our orbital environment, but also increases the danger of objects re-entering Earth's atmosphere, as happened with the Chinese rocket in 2021, albeit in an uninhabited area. The 25,182 space objects, many of which are defunct, contribute to these issues. Efforts to address this problem are gaining momentum. Projects like Clear Space One, also known as the Space Claw, are set to launch in 2025, following Astroscale's successful ELSA D launch in 2021. Various methods, including magnets and lasers, are proposed for clearing space debris, but they are not yet cost-effective. Increased use of AI, machine learning, and data analysis AI and machine learning are revolutionizing space exploration, just as they have transformed industries on Earth. The sheer volume of data generated in space has driven this technological shift. Satellites capture an enormous number of images and observations, allowing us to explore the universe like never before. 
For instance, AI has enabled the discovery of roughly 200 times more proto-stars than we could find using traditional methods. In space technology, AI plays a pivotal role at every stage, from satellite design to system monitoring. AI helps optimize satellite construction, improving efficiency and performance. It also assists in monitoring and maintaining these complex systems once they're in orbit. But with such copious data, the challenge lies in preparing it for AI analysis. Data annotation, the process of labeling and categorizing data, becomes increasingly important in space technology. This annotated data serves as the foundation for training machine learning algorithms to make sense of the vast amounts of information acquired from space. The integration of AI and machine learning not only enhances our understanding of the cosmos, but also streamlines space technology development and operations, making space exploration more efficient and effective. As we continue to explore the universe, AI will remain an essential tool for unraveling its mysteries. The increasing spread of miniaturized satellites In the not-so-distant past, space was dominated by a handful of large, cumbersome and intricate satellites. However, a significant transformation has occurred, and the skies above are now teeming with thousands of smaller satellites that are not only more cost-effective, but also remarkably agile. These miniature satellites are redefining space technology by achieving the same essential functions that their larger predecessors did. One of the standout applications for these diminutive satellites is the creation of proprietary wireless communications networks. Their compact size and affordability make them an ideal choice for this purpose. Small satellites are nimble, and they can be launched into specific orbits to cater to diverse communication needs, such as global internet coverage or data transmission. Cube satellites, in particular, have gained immense popularity. Their standardization simplifies production and launch procedures, reducing costs and accelerating deployment. This scalability enables organizations to deploy a fleet of cube satellites to address various communication and data needs more efficiently than ever before. The rise of miniaturized satellites signifies a democratization of space technology, enabling a broader range of industries and entities to access and benefit from the capabilities of space-based communication and data services. This shift has opened up new possibilities for innovation and connectivity in the ever-evolving landscape of satellite technology. In conclusion, space technology is advancing at a breathtaking pace. We're on the brink of a new era in space exploration, where the cosmos is becoming more accessible and sustainable. With missions to Mars, space tourism, and a growing focus on environmental responsibility, the future of space is bright. So, whether you're a seasoned astronaut or just an Earth-bound dreamer, there's something to look forward to in the world of space technology. Keep your eyes on the sky, because the next breakthrough might just be a rocket launch away. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, keep reaching for the stars.